Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last week, I received several questions about how to train your own models for a specific task. Many of you were asking about the differences between technique like fine tuning, rack, prompt engineer, zero shot, and few shot learning, and when to use each one. Today, I will be breaking down each technique and discussing their specific use cases before diving into coding tutorial for each scenario. Scenario. My goal is to help you understand which methods best fits for your needs, whether you are applying it to your project or your day-to-day -day work. Let's get started. First off, let's tackle the hardest technique in my opinion is this fine-tuning. Just because I think to be able to fine-tune a model, you need to know multiple technical skills for example python is must and then after that python you can uh, you may need to know tensorflow pytorch um, to be able to train epochs so for each epochs you are um, basically changing the number the size the parameters inside models and it's all like think about it this way to train a machine learning model you need data data in data out to fine tuning a um, large language model, it's the same case. You need to have a very, not like very good, but at least you need a good data set prepared to be able to feed into the model, be able to trend and you know change the parameter accordingly. So it's the process for sure, because again, we heard about garbage in, garbage out. So the processing is very important. Data cleaning, data pre-processing, how do you pad? How do you do padding? How do you truncate all the text file? Are you doing text file or is it a tabular form? So um, there's a lot of things to consider in here. So the next question will be when to do fine tuning. Fine tuning is again, it's a process where we change the parameters of a pre-trained model. Like in this case, you see in the screen, it's a bird, it's a pre-trained model. And then we train it on a specific data set to tailor to our needs. So think about it like a personalized trend training. For example, uh, in this case, I want to make an AI lawyer. And to be able to be uh, an AI lawyer, you need to know or at least you need to like be able to understand all the legal documents. So in this case, we are feeding that legal documents into the model, and then we um, changing its parameter. We hopefully the model from you know it pre-trained from a vast amount of general knowledge. Now we fine tune, and it will help the model to narrow narrow the field and become an expert. So in this case, we have an AI lawyer by doing fine tuning. This approach can boost the performance on the specific task. However, however, it's come with a trade-off. For example, how big your legal documents are, how um how heavy it is. You need to have a lot of like computational computational resources such as GPU, um, and then you know of course all of the um technical skills. So for each UK use case we would consider to do fine tuning if not fine tuning then let's go to the next technique suppose you want a chatbot that can answer a question about your clothing business the underlying model will you know go greet your customer like hello what can we do for you and then suddenly the customer asks what size do you like carry how does the model know what size you carry or any question related to do you ship overseas what is your return policy so with all of that with rack retrieval augmented generation when a user asks a question a specific question that tailored to your business your use case the system first will retrieve the relevant answer from an external file that you give it to the, to the model like, let's look at this slide we have deep seek as a model and a bunch of different files, those files can be the external file, PDF, CSV, tabular form that we feed into the model using Rack. And then the model will retrieve the relevant answers from our file. For example, someone asks, what size do you carry? So the model will retrieve the relevant information and it will return, for example, we carry size X, XL, L, different kind of signs. We do carry um, oversize as well. 
This technique is particularly useful when dealing with tasks that require up-to-date or very specialized knowledge information that might not be fully captured in the model training data, and is、um, tailored to your business need. So you may ask, what's the difference between fine tuning and rack? When can I use rack? When I can? When can I use fine tuning? Fine tuning is when is、um, Specific domain, and then you need a consistency be- along the model.、Um, for example, for something like research paper,、um, lawyer, like legal documents, or things that related to healthcare, you want the model to be consistent. For rack, every single time when you rack, you may receive a different type of answers. It still retrieve your information, but you know. The style of the answer is different. It can be、um, varies compared to a fine tuning. You need to have like precise languages. For example, like all of the word, the legal, the legal words should be consistent across the model, different chatbot, different section. So that's where you will consider using fine tuning for a chatbot that interact with customer and then you know retrieve all customer information or. Tell the customer your business. For example, are you shipping overseas and all of that? It can be retrieving using Rack. All right, moving on to Prompt Engineer. This one, unlike the fine tuning or Rack, Prompt Engineer doesn't change the model's weight at all. So therefore, it's require non technical skill to be working with large language model. Instead, it's about the art of asking the right question. So, for example, if you working with GPT four and you need to solve a coding problem, you may need to give it some some context, which is the question, and then the role. You can say you are a senior developer working on the coding problem, and then give it some goal. Your goal is to output this. Question. Um, it's an answer. Wrap it in a dictionary. Uh, return all the variables, and then give me some comment on your code as well. Something like that. So, um, prompt is if you have an effective prompt, it can provide you a good output without the need for the expensive fine tuning or even rack. It depend on you know if that. Model is not required a deep understanding of like le legal documents, for example, um anything that specialize anything that require deep understanding, then you can use prompt, and then for a user to be able to use prompt to be able to interact with the model, the large language model, you don't have to. Understand how the model works, how to change the parameters at all. Let's explore some of the prompt engineering technique. First, how about zero shot? Zero shot is like you ask a question for the model and you expect the answer immediately. For example, I say translate the sentence for me to Vietnamese. Or translate the sentence for me to English, so that the model just worked pretty well because again it was trained on a vast amount of diverse data.、Um, however, some like very like minority of languages, it may fail to to be perfect because of the number of the training data. For few shot learning, this one can be. Um, thinking that you provide some example to the model, so the model will understand a little bit more of the context. What are you looking for? For example, in this case, I want to do a sentiment analysis, and I say, "This sentence, I am happy, is positive. I am sad, is negative. I hate, blah blah blah, is negative." And then after those three、um, examples, I give this a sentence, and I ask, "What is the sentiment for this sentence?" Or I can do one plus two equal to five, one plus three equal to six. Then what is one plus four equal to? Something like that. So give it some example and try to modify or try to you know、um, let the model understand the context a little bit more. Chain of thoughts. This one is very interesting. 
um, for example, if you have a question for the model and the model answer, that answer may not um, fit what you're looking for. So you'll be like, think about this again, given that this context is like this. And then the model asks, the model try to answer, it may or may not um, get your expectation. So then you'll be like, iterate again and try to guide the model to the output that you expect. So that for all of this being said, now, if you have a problem, I hope that you may be able to pick what kind of technique to either iterate the parameters of the model or interact with the model to get to the right answer. Um, again, fine tuning is expensive, it requires technical skills, but it works for um, the context where you have, you know, some very specific um, data set or documentation that where you need the answer to be consistent across, you know, all users or different section. Mean time rack, you change the parameter as well, but then it's in checking the, the latest information that tailored to your business need. For example, a chatbot that tailored to whatever size that you carry, the return policy that can be updated frequently and then refreshed to the new information. Prompt engineer require no technical skills. Um, you interact with the model by asking the right question and guide it through until it hits your uh, it hits your expectation.